through blood and sweat. <laughs> we did edit with the mobile phone. What happened? Someone may have or may not uh, have. Definitely not. You know how you should always make a checklist before going out with your gear? But that could have been good today. Because we meant to go out, beautiful settings, the forest, there's still some snow. But guess what? I forgot to pick the batteries that were charging. The only thing, the only thing, and yet essential. Oh my, so pumped. Okay, so it, it's good because we meant to do a YouTube video about how to produce a video for YouTube with an iPhone, you know, shooting, editing, publishing, managing the channel even. And that's gonna do some material for it. I think that's a great opportunity to actually put that to the actual test, right? Okay, so let's get that down and back to the studio for some editing. See ya. I did forget the batteries, you know, make a checklist. I mean, it's essential to make sure that you have everything required to go for a shooting. The goal in this video is not necessarily that you use your mobile phone instead of your pro camera uh, because I'm not gonna change any time. I do love shooting with a proper camera for plenty of reasons. We are here to talk about is it viable using your mobile phone and we're gonna see how we could make a, a short video and partially because we're not mobile shooters we're gonna try to use as much as we know and apply it to uh, this kind of equipment. Certainly shooting with a mobile phone is not gonna be the same standard as a full professional equipment like professional camera or audio recording. But is it the point? That's not the point exactly. As so many of you have mobile phones and if you want to start a channel and maybe you don't want to invest just yet or this is all what you have. You know, like at, at least until you know what you want your channel to be about or where you're heading to. So you might ask, which app is the best for shooting your videos? Well, we did try a few and one of the most notorious is Filmic Pro. And honestly, except for the most controlled environment with plenty of artificial light, don't bother. Uh, it's gonna be so much extra work to not have this really noisy look that it's not worth it. Uh, just stick with the official app and you're gonna be just well. So definitely if you want to have a better image, you have to pay attention to light. We know that light is essential. Yes. But what do we have to be aware of? What do we need? Definitely there's only that much light that can pass through that tiny sensor in the mobile phone camera, right? Okay. So move close to the window if you can, obviously by daylight. Uh <laughs> but you, you tend to have, uh, you know, easily direct sunlight or very yeah. harsh. Try to avoid direct sunlight. So if you can use uh, curtains or if you don't have, maybe you can even use Bed sheets. Bed sheets. Yes. Okay. So it's creating that soft box cool. look, and the skin tone is looking much better and creamy. Creamy look. Mm, nice. Okay, so if you're shooting with no natural light, use any kind of lamp that you have around. But if you can, we are recommending specialized LEDs that you can actually change the intensity or the temperature of the light. With this, you can have an absolute control, and even the cheap one will do a great job. I think there's actually a whole range of pricing on this matter right We now. might add some Definitely. links, actually we might add some links uh, down below in the description so you can check some models that we use or are using at the moment. Or not crossover when I'm not finished with my sentence. I think it was worth it. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. So there is still something. Each on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really don't like this one. As of 2021, they're still not allowing us. I mean, technically it's extremely complex. With such a small lens and sensor, you can't have a proper depth of field and you have to fake it. Depth of field is very important as it gives that cinematic look. It actually cut out the subject out of the background and brings that focus and attention just on itself. So it's very important, right? Obviously with a mobile phone, you can't have it. So what do you have to pay attention to when you set up your backgrounds? If you can't have a blur background, you might want uh, as well 
add as much texture or make it interesting. We are going to try different looks, uh, see what works, and hopefully it will inspire you. This setup is exactly the same setup as we're shooting this video, so you can see the difference between a professional camera and a mobile phone. Don't be afraid to experiment with your surroundings, as trying different angles will give a little bit more personality and a little bit more you into your videos. And we moved our setup next to the window. As this beautiful natural light is coming in, we place the subject by a side so we can have that extra three-dimensional look. When choosing a background, you have to be extra creative to compensate that lack of depth of field. I chose this one to have a lot of textures and a lot of things happening to give that extra depth. What do you think, guys? Which look is more to your taste? Comment down below. Voila! Perfect. Voila! Moving on. Moving on. From image to the sound. Let's Audio. Go. Audio is very important. Some even say that audio is more important than the image itself, and I understand why. The microphone, which is built in in the mobile phone, it's so tiny, and unfortunately, it catch, it's catching absolutely everything from surrounding, except your sound. It's unbearable. Unbearable. So you can improve it, right? You can actually make it a little bit better by avoiding all the loud noises of the surrounding, like, like, like the what? fridge, like the dishwasher, like the sound of the streets. Or Canon battery chargers. Canon battery chargers. Oh, the drawer is mud. It is so loud. I mean, yeah. Canon, if you, by any chance, you one day you see this video, do something. I mean, it's like emitting like this high pitch. I hate it. Avoid background noise. That seems simple. Yeah. Good luck. Because not. <laughs> echo, 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 echo. This is a, echo, a, a, echo. Stop it quickly. It was an issue. When you're recording in a large empty spaces, it does tend to create that echo and that will affect your audio recording. Yes, so how to avoid it? Oh, so toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that might work actually. If you can't add furniture or any like sound panel, is to bring in blankets that you're gonna hang around your recording space and this is gonna improve massively by breaking down the sound wave. We did actually make a video about audio and microphones, so you might like to check the link. We're gonna put it somewhere around. You're gonna see different models and what could work in your situation. One thing I would recommend, if possible, if you think that in the near future, you're gonna upgrade to a proper camera, is to take a microphone that can work with both. This way, you're gonna avoid extra expenses. Now that you have these beautiful videos recorded in your phone, what do you do with them? Well, we might need some editing. One thing for sure, editing on the mobile phone is not for the faint of heart. And a few years back, the idea of doing some advanced editing on a mobile phone would have been pretty crazy. But nowadays... It expanded a lot. Oh, it's crazy. Now, apps are capable to do a lot. And for some, it might be a really viable solution. Through blood and sweat. <laughs> <laughs> we did edit with the mobile phone. What do we do with it now? Publish it. Maybe it's time to publish it. And actually, that might be the easiest part of this tutorial, is how do you publish your video with your mobile phone? To publish your freshly made video, you can use main YouTube app. It does sound better when you say YouTube main app. Oh my god, I want to shoot you! <laughs> but one thing to be very careful is Go in settings and there you'll find an option to change upload quality because it's limited at 1080p by default. So if you want to upload this crispy 4K, hmm, check it out. Hmm, check it. So we shot it, we edited it, and we published it. Now we have to manage it. Oh, and that might be funny because actually YouTube have a whole different app dedicated for managing your channel. And it's a bit odd that you can't upload with this app. Bizarre. Hopefully, oh, it's bizarre. Hopefully, in YouTube. the near future, YouTube. You know? Listen. Yeah, queue up with Canon. <laughs> <laughs> Please make that we can upload our videos directly from the YouTube Studio app. That'd be great. That'd be excellent. So, what you can't do as much as on the main website, you can check a lot of things. You can assess your analytics, you can 
reply to comments. What can you do? It? So I think we went through pretty much everything. But if you have a few questions, you know, comment down below. If you like this video, leave, leave a thumbs up. up. And if you haven't subscribed already, do so. That'd be great. That'd be excellent. And we'll see you. And we'll see you. In the next video. In the next video. Peace. Can't reach.